guys, it's Steph from Ferret World. I'm here today and I'm ask, answering another question from Leanne Farr, who is wondering, who asked, I was wondering if it's okay to feed my ferret chicken necks instead of mice. Hi Leanne, thank you for your question. Um, yes, definitely you can feed ferrets chicken necks, but I wouldn't just go swapping chicken necks um, f instead of mice. Uh, and the reason behind that is ferrets are obligate carnivores and as part of their natural diet they need to have all the organs, all of the bones, um, you know, the fur, everything because all of those components have different nutrients in them. Um, and so it is vital for a ferret's health to have whole foods such as mice, chicks, rats. Um, obviously you can get them dead and frozen from pet shops and then just make sure that you defrost them. But it is really important for ferrets to have that whole goodness that that whole animal body gives them because of the different nutrients. With chicken necks, they're fantastic for cleaning a ferret's teeth because of the cartilage and the bones, they get to kind of grind their teeth against, against the um, bones. But it isn't as um, nutritional for a ferret as, um, as a whole animal body is because of the different nutrients that a whole animal body has in it. With chicken necks, you're pretty much just looking at the flat flesh of the animal and the bones and that just gives very limited nutrients. I still recommend feeding chicken necks because they're fantastic obviously for the ferret's teeth um, but it's not, it's kind of like comparing apples with with meat. <laughs> I won't, don't, say, don't want to say apples with oranges, I suppose I could but they're just that different that it's not really something that you can substitute one for the other. Both are needed in the ferret's diet, both have benefits, and I would recommend still feeding your ferret whole foods such as mice, chicks, quails, whole rabbits, rats, and all that good stuff that they really need. Ferrets are obligate carnivores, which means that they really should be eating all of that kind of pure meat diet. Um, did that even make sense? Uh, that um, we always kind of talk about. So it is really important for ferrets to get those whole foods as well. Sorry. I know it's a little bit disgusting. I get a little bit grossed out by it, especially when they crunch on them. Mm, it's a bit, ugh. I've actually seen my ferrets um, chewing on a rat once and then blood spurted out of it onto the wall. It was a bit gross. I actually got some of it on my nose as well. That's probably not helping. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so <laughs> even though it's gross, stand away from it. <laughs> Make sure that you don't get blood spurting all over you as well. That was like a one-off thing, by the way. That happened once. I've never had that happen since or before that. So... Um, don't worry too much, but just defrost them, put them in the ferret's cage and walk away um, because that'll make things a little bit easier. You don't even have to handle the rats, make sure you just drain the water off and then just you can put them in the ferret's cage. Just make sure that you um, wipe down the area as well after they're done because you don't want bacteria festering or anything like that. So, um, yeah. That is that. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that helps Leanne. And um, uh, please subscribe to my newsletter, which is on my website underneath the video in, um, where you can sign up in a big green box. Um, and with that, you will get um, Ferret First Aid and Emergency Care ebook. And also join me on the Ferret World Facebook page, on the Ferret World Twitter page, and the Ferret World Pinterest page as well because we have lots of stuff happening everywhere. So I shall see you there. Bye-bye.